In the next 48 hours, game developer Monolith and parent company Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment hope to gain new insight into a top-secret, unannounced console-based MOBA game that is entering the final stages of development. They've invited eight of North America's top professional MOBA players to their Seattle studios to take part in an unprecedented experiment, one that could play a critical role in the success of their game, Guardians of Middle Earth. We're really excited to show you the game today. Um, we've been working on this for a while now and been holding back, so you're kind of the first public to be able to see it who are actual hardcore gamers or mobile players. So we're really excited about that. Before the developers can start collecting feedback, they need to get the pro players up to speed on the game's mechanics and key systems. A couple things we wanted to do was make the matches faster. We thought gamers would want to be in and out and onto the next round faster than you typically find in, in a PC MOBA. The other thing is, in general, all of the things that you put on your loadout are going to be stuff you slowly progress to unlock over the course of playing, leveling your profile and earning coins to use to unlock all these different things. Bringing in a, a group of professional MOBA players to sort of give us feedback is, is a huge win for, for us trying to feel it out. We Obviously, our day job is trying to make the game. Their day job is playing the game and really understanding what works and doesn't work about it. So like Gandalf, for example, is like a really good beginner guy because he does a lot of AOEs. So what one thing we're, we'll probably do, I think we've talked about it at least, is like mark guys, whether they're sort of beginner or like medium or hard guys okay. to play. We really hope to make Guardians of Middle Earth a more fast paced game since it's on the console. Um, we know that console gamers usually want to jump into a round, finish the round, you know, win or lose, and then start a new game. So we really wanted the matches to be short and action packed. As we really nail down exactly all the features in the game, finish all the feature work, we're going to be able to incorporate some of this feedback. And I think also just the perspectives and, and information that we've gotten from these guys will really help us you know, in this finishing phase to decide what to focus on and what not to. The goal from the beginning was to make sure that this thing actually satisfies the most hardcore play. And then priority two is, okay, now make it the easiest ramp on as possible for new people. Our cause is just. Guardians of Middle Earth, I think, is a great uh, entry point for new mobile players uh, because it's got the accessible sort of console controls, immediate interaction with your character kind of feel. It's a little bit simpler and faster paced, so you can kind of jump in and get more revs on it without having to uh, learn quite as much about the structures around the culture in the PC space right now. With a firm grasp of the basics, the pros are ready for battle. For the developers, this is their first chance to see how professional players react to the game. Right, uh, right there, what does that mean? So you leveled up, so hold, in, hold it down. I was never going straight for professional gaming. When I started, it was just a passion. I really liked uh, playing competitively, and I just liked trying to win. So we did the intro this morning, we got a bunch of feedback from you guys already just digging into the menus and everything, so finally gonna actually start a five on five match. You actually play against each other, or at least the eight pros, and then we'll have two uh, of the developers in the last couple slots here. So now you have one minute to do your loadouts if you haven't already set them up. But right now they're trying to defend, their tower's actually being pushed a little already but they have two Guardians in the bottom lane trying to push back. He's about to kill Legolas, he did, he finished Legolas. The biggest surprise of the day so far is how quick they adapt to the controls. Soren's fun because he has like a, a dash that also stealths him, so you can dash behind enemy lines and stealth and then knock guys back into your tower, which is really awesome. It's been fun to really you know, pick out those things that I think that fans of the lore are gonna recognize, but also I think gamers will recognize you know, how much depth there is behind each of these characters. The developers are working towards a balanced game where no one player has a distinct advantage and matches end around a sweet spot of 15 minutes. But the players are finding that not all Guardians are created equal and matches last twice as long as expected. Oh, now you're going to prolong it because you're actually going to kill all of them, huh? <laughs> oh my god. That was close. Oh that was my close. god. I think I, think I just 1v5'd them and then killed everybody. <laughs> Started playing games. Well, I wouldn't say professionally, but I started playing games a lot as an escape from reality, I guess, and uh, now it is the reality, so I'm quite happy with that. 
in the last uh, half hour here playing this, uh, how does it feel for just picking it up? And uh, It's pretty easy picking it up. I mean, I think it takes about five minutes to figure out what the skill does. Mm -hmm. And really, you just give it a little bit of thought. You get a really general sense of how the character should be played. I think the biggest struggle for me was like trying to figure out how to use my ultimate as a as a melee squishy DPS that also has a melee ultimate. Where I'm like, oh man, it's AOE. I want to hit as many people as well. I'm dead. It was fun though. Like if I actually got into range of five people and they didn't instantly kill me, then I could deal damage. As the clock winds down on day one, players meet with the developers to discuss the matches and their recommendations for making the game more balanced and fun to play. It feels like a little too snowbally, you know what I mean? One of our major issues in the game right now is snowballing uh, experience levels, where one team will get ahead in experience levels compared to the other team, and there's a, it's a very hard pull to try to get the other team back again to make a shift back if their, their player skill dominates over the other team. If the team drags it out until level 14, everybody would be at their maximum potential, and it's really just going to come down to who is going to fight better, who is going to perform better in a team fight environment. Essentially, at, at some point in time, you can't end the game because the soldiers aren't killing towers quickly enough and people are just wiping the waves and that kind of stagnates the game as well. While the players are treated to a team dinner, a dedicated group of developers stays behind to work into the night, implementing the players' suggestions. The team at Monolith only has one chance to impress the pro gamers with a fast turnaround. As the game's delivery deadline looms, the players will have one more day to play Guardians of Middle-Earth, test the changes, and offer a final assessment. Coming up in part two. Right now we got the guys back in this morning. Last night they gave us some good feedback. We made some changes. They're playing a new build now. I look forward to seeing uh, the differences in what you find uh, just overall in the game. <laughs>